So historically, uh, planning has tended to be done in somewhat silos, if you will. There's sort of mobile, uh, there's PC, there's obviously TV. And what we're being asked by our clients is to start deduplicating from a unique visitor perspective across these disparate platforms. So what we've done is we've now stitched together the digital data that we've historically uh, collected along with the, the Rentrack data. And what we're provisioning now to the marketplace is this integrated cross-platform deduplicated unique viewer and it manifests itself across our solution suite that includes planning solutions, activation solutions, and campaign measurement solutions. So we're um, going to be uh, covering this event tomorrow with mm -hmm. Zaxis about creative optimization and curious to know sort of what you think those opportunities are and more mm -hmm. specifically how you guys can or will sure. drive that. So one example for that, speaking of creative optimization, is we work with a, a real estate company and what they're doing is they're now modifying the creatives that they, that they have based on whether the individual owns a car or does not own a car. And it sounds somewhat trivial, but what they're doing is for those that don't, they're showing images of uh, apartment buildings and whatnot. And those that do, they're showing an actual house with a, a two car uh, garage in the image. So what we do is, uh, again, we've taken our data on a census basis. Um, our data spans almost 98% of all internet connected devices in the United States. And we've married that up with the 40 million uh, Rentrack uh, set-top box universe. And out of that comes what we believe is the world's largest uh, deduplicated cross-platform data set. What we're then able to do is because we have this data at a very granular level is stitch that to various other third-party firms, one of which provides us with information on the auto ownership, for example. Others provision data across from a CPG purchase perspective. Others are obviously demographics and certain other attributes. And what we're now able to do is start marrying that data up and provision it back to our clients so that they can effectively improve their targeting. Speaking of clients, what are, if you would sort of maybe rank or uh, identify some of their needs, concerns right now, I'm sure you're hearing it at yep. CAN and in mm -hmm. your everyday life, what mm -hmm. are some of those concerns? So from a planning basis, uh, they're concerned with understanding who's who. So for example, uh, one, of our, one of our TV clients is interested in understanding how does the consumption of long, their long form video change during the day given obviously the people in a household uh, and the devices. So what they're interested in doing is, is understanding does a long form video initiates, for example, on a, on a PC, does it then move to a, a tablet or some other mobile device close to dinner time, especially you know, late at night and again, given the presence of children in the household. So they really want to know, again, getting back to that cross-platform deduplication at an individual level, who is doing what across these disparate device types. And just given our massive scale, our footprint, and the way in which we integrate these disparate data sets together, we're able to provision data back to the marketplace on a by individual basis.